Hey folks, Randy here with Dolan Cut and Trim, and I am here to show you the Echo WT-1610 HSP Walk Behind String Trimmer from Echo. Echo sent this sucker to me for my honest and unbiased review, and I'm about to share it with you now. And I'm going to tell you right from the get-go, this sucker is awesome. It's a self-propelled walk behind string trimmer. It's got a 24-inch cutting swath, a three-speed transmission that lets you go up to two miles an hour. Uh, it's got a Honda 160cc engine and large 16-inch wheels with steel ball bearings for easy maneuverability over rough terrain. And let me tell you, it does work great over rough terrain. Uh, honestly, this is heavier than most of your average uh, wheel trimmers are. It comes in at 100 pounds, but honestly, you don't really notice it. The self propels great, um, but even when you're walking back and forth, you're not having the issues that you would normally have uh, with a uh, uh, that you would think you would have with a heavier machine. It's very well balanced, and the wheels just make things a breeze. And then you know the self propels great. Uh, it was a little weird at first dealing with it, um, uh, but you get used to it pretty quick. Um, the thing I really liked about this thing, and actually it's a kind of a blessing and a curse is that this is a direct drive system so most uh, uh, wheel trimmers they have like a, a belt drive uh, for the uh, head and uh, that works great um, and uh, I kind of wish this was how that one this one worked but uh, w which we'll get to in a minute um, but uh, having a direct drive I think means you're getting a lot more power um, I can tell you this thing worked great never bogged down never had issues you know, and uh, definitely worth the exorbitant price tag that this thing comes with when it's brand new. Um, let's see, what did, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's got a bale switch and a self propel, so the bale is on the bottom, if I remember correctly, and the self propel is on the top. Uh, I did have one issue with this machine where um, the kill switch actually comes on plugs pretty easy uh, but that's not a big deal it's not really an issue with the machine itself now the one pro that's also a con for this machine is that direct drive option because the issue with the direct drive uh, option on the the uh, trimmer head is that when as soon as you turn the machine on that head starts spinning and you never you wouldn't necessarily think that would be an issue until you're in a situation like I am here where I've got to bring the equipment back to the truck and it's several hundred yards to the truck and I also you'll see in a little bit have to go up a hill and I had to tell you one of the main reasons I uh, was interested in this machine is the self-propel feature. Because I was like, man, this would be awesome. Be able to turn it on at the truck, use the self-propel to get me up to the truck or to the job and back. But as it turns out, that's a no-go because the head's going to be going full throttle if the engine's on. Uh, so I kind of wish that this uh, there was actually a uh, belt drive option for the blades uh, so that the self-propel would actually be usable when I'm uh, uh, going to and from the job site. <laughs> I did reach out to the good folks at Echo and asked uh, why there wasn't, why they decided to go with a direct drive instead of a belt drive, because the belt drive would have allowed the self-propel to be used um, when I'm transporting the machine. And the answer I got back from Echo was, uh, let me see what the direct quote is, um, we built a direct drive machine. So, <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's how that goes. <laughs> so that one negative aside, which obviously like it's almost half the video that I'm talking about it. Um, I think it's a great machine. I, I like it a lot. I'm really really grateful to Echo uh, for sending it to me for my review. Uh, which you can see has obviously been very honest because about half of it has been me grumbling about how I want to use the self-propel all the time, not just sometimes. But uh, it's a great machine. Highly recommend it. 